Hello everyone and welcome back to Cut with Italians. As the chat has yeah. kind of spoiled today, I'm gonna break shit. Because that seems Yay. to be what I do. Yay! Um, so you might have noticed from the title of the episode, today we're gonna let people choose because we had a couple of ideas, couldn't choose which one to go for. So we thought, well, why not let people choose? Also, that makes it easier for us. So um, before we start, uh, before even uh, does the even thing, the two topics we're thinking mm -hmm. about today are first, uh, there are some changes that, that have been done to shot before the holidays that I haven't had time to test yet. So we can try to do that, see if, if that works. I think it could be interesting because it also implies uh, like putting stuff in the local Maven repository, uh, testing it from there and so on and so forth, which could be cool. Uh, or composite builds, depending what we want to do. Uh, the other thing that we can do is before the holidays, again, the last stream we did uh, Snowfall with Mark, uh, but it was just like circles and it was like, it was very good, but it could be made better. So what we can do is we can uh, get some snowflakes and actually show like random snowflakes instead. Uh, oh, we lost Steven. Eh. I'll keep talking in the meantime. So we can have uh, snowfall, uh, snowflakes and have a bunch of them uh, and pick them at random and uh, maybe add some duration as well. So, yeah. Um, those are the two options. I'm trying to get uh, even back into the call. Let's see if it works. It's ringing. Let's see if it works. This time it was on my fault. It was Man, not software. my fault. What's what's going Did on it crash? with software? Did it? Of course, it crashed. Like I mid, think it's time you sentence. I think it's time you admit that I'm the one that breaks shit. You're the one that makes stuff crash. But without doing <laughs> anything, I mean, this is this is so weird. I mean, it's just it's just ha ha ha. I was running the the poll. Boom. Ciao. Sebastiano, nope. Sebastiano, are you there? Is it on? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah ap apparently crash. Everything is crashing. I mean, the, the, I don't know how many, a few of you, they were, we were uh, guests uh, in, for the first time, a Twitter space, spaces, spaces, space. Uh, space, something, something, space, space. Uh, um, a, a couple of days ago, Friday. And um, and the app was crashing constantly. The Android app on my Samsung was crash co constantly crashing, and now also Skype is crashing. I don't know. Probably is the universe telling me either you you hang in there or just give up and do for you know agriculture, buy a range or something. But you know I want to persist. I don't want to give up. Anyway, uh, technology rant about apart. What do we want to do? So I, I I managed to run a poll so people can probably put. Aha. I think it's running. Is yeah, it? it is. It's almost out it's of running, time. It's run... Almost okay, out of time. Okay, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can make it longer or whatever. I mean, yeah. Anyway, if 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 we make it, otherwise we run it again. I didn't had the chance to uh, notify users. They just crashed. Anyway, in the meantime, um, what if we do the the usual uh, yes. initial? I'm gonna to I'm yes, gonna so... re to refocus my camera in the meantime because it's I I'm very slightly out of focus. It's very annoying to me. Yeah, it's <laughs> one, that, one of those things that just you yeah. know, very slightly out of focus. You. So, um, so I want to thank uh, everybody that support the stream. Um, and uh, Simao from Portugal that gave us the last uh, nudge over the the our first goal. Uh, we reached our first goal. Um, we will be contacting um, a freelancer, a designer um, freelancer that uh, is gonna help us with 
restyling or at least pointing out very, very uh, bad parts of the app from a UX and UI point of view. That's great. Uh, Sebastiano already started uh, a new um, a new goal and uh, the, the current goal on coffee is going to be uh, 250 euros because we want to buy swag. So the idea is, so we are back to the original um, goal and the original but goal bigger and is, better. bigger and better. Yeah, bigger <laughs> and better and uh, without slot machines and, uh, but that's not that kind of... Different bot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a different bot. Uh, but the, the idea is we want to create a budget to buy things like the t-shirt that I'm wearing and uh, send them uh, as giveaways over the, the the next few months. Uh, at the moment, we have the usual things. We have stickers, and you are gonna get the holo ones if you are a subscriber, and then you win the giveaway. We are running the giveaways uh, on every episode. Um, we are also running the IntelliJ giveaways once a week, so just stay with us and um, keep an eye on the chat. I'm gonna give you the um, the um, the word that you need to add to the chat to participate to the giveaway. Uh, I just want to show you how much how much stuff we are gonna send out because this morning I um, I set. And I, I just prepared a lot of envelopes that we are shipping all around the world. Uh, by the way, Sebastian, we are out of uh, stamps. So Again? Um, <laughs> Didn't you go <laughs> yesterday to buy them? <laughs> no, I mean, I was like, okay, we, we, need, we need to buy more. So we are, I'm actually, I have a plan. Probably I can buy them on the website and then they can ship me the, um, a pallet. Like the whole... <laughs> No, no, they they have uh, like the whole shit, you know, that, that then you uh -huh, cut the, uh -huh. the stamps. You just so want to cut it, them. It, That's it, the thing. You just want to cut the shit. Yeah, the... I'm just going to make a, like a video, a very satisfying video where I do, you know, and ASMR uh, so, with the Italians. <laughs> yeah, this this is great. Um, I also I also uh, reserved the the um, the delivery for uh, the the book that uh, coding pizza uh, won the Android book Android's book. Uh, so everything is uh, is coming together. Uh, we waited a bit for shipment because we have a surprise. Um, a surprise. A you're, you're surprise not you're not gonna regret waiting a couple of weeks more. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and we we are very grateful for your for your uh, patience on this. Um, and the usual thing, if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can support the um, the stream. You can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, you just need to connect your Amazon Prime slash gaming account to your Twitch account, and then you will see that there is a new subscribe with Prime button on our uh, home screen or home page for the for the channel um of course you can uh, you can also support us with coffee and uh buying uh stuff on the on the on the store um we added few new um products we have a pillow um f just for mark ellison i created the pint glass because why not i mean that's perfect uh, we have socks. Uh, Alexis suggested, why don't you do socks? And I was like, yeah, whatever. Let's do socks. Uh, people love socks. And You know we what? Have, uh, we, should, we should make socks with my face on them. I mean, I have them. I don't see why other people shouldn't have them. Socks, <laughs> socks with your face. Okay. Uh, it was a gift wait, to yeah. me, I have to say. Uh, but I really like them. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's not, that's not creepy at all. Uh, anyway, probably in the next few days, we are going to uh, release a very limited edition of Socks with Sebastiano's face. Okay. Or not. And, uh, <laughs> or not. Bo, I mean, let, let's run a poll. Do you want, do you want Sebastiano's face socks? Um, and, um, and yeah, uh, so this is this is great. So thank you, thank you a lot for watching the the VODs on YouTube and uh, following us on Twitter and on Twitch. And 
I guess we're done. We need to we need yeah. to work on some snowflakes. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, just to reply to people in the chat. So Maya, yes, I also want an animal pin. That's on the list. Don't worry. Uh, the idea for the swag thing is that uh, in four months ish, uh, it's our one year anim anniversary. And given that it takes like two to three months to procure swag, uh, we want to start early. Uh, and yeah. if we set a budget and we know what we can get and then we can order it in a couple of months, like we have probably a couple of months tops to be able to yeah. get everything that we need by the time that is the, um, yeah. uh, the anniversary. We and then we can we, do like a have, big box a with everything and we gift it to someone like one for our, like, I, I think what I'm thinking right now is we're going to have like a box for our, uh, supporters a box for our uh, subscribers. And if we have enough cash left, also a box to give away to someone else, maybe on YouTube. I don't yeah. know, something like that. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. And, and you know, you, we, we keep adding new stuff because we have other ideas. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, and uh, spice, spice cup. Can you see the dog? Yeah, I need, I need another cam. I need to do like a picture in picture with the dog. Uh, I need just to get another camera. But yeah. jokes aside, um, I mean, we we had also other suggestions like, can you do like a like a huge pizza slice blanket? You know, with the angry pizza thing. You know, like a blanket just with the pizza on it. Um, sure. That takes a yeah, and I was like, yeah, that takes a bit of probably like organization, I was planning, I will say, because you then you need to uh, you need to ask. I mean, you look for like a like a manufacturer or something. So that's yeah. not immediate, like the swag that we have. That kind of um, has the problem that we need volume for that. So yeah. But again, I mean, again, we have plenty of ideas. And so thank you for the support. Thank you the, for the support. Stickers are coming. Uh, and uh, thank you for your patience. So no, no, Mark, I'm not going to be the one in the small, <laughs> just having Spike. But I mean, Spike, I mean, come on. I mean, he He's living on the couch. I want to do that. I want to do his life. We just went for a walk. They're just, oh my god, squirrel, 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 I'm gonna pee here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna poo there. And then let's go home. I need a carrot. And now, ouch, sleeping. I mean, I want the excitement. Life. Yeah, yeah, the excitement <laughs> of everything, you know, the, I don't know. Anyway, we can, we can start, Sebastiano, we can start. Okay, so uh, we are doing the snowflakes. As you can see, we have not prepared anything. Uh, the only thing that we have prepared is something that I've done now, which is I have Googled Snowflake Vector. <laughs> Prepping. Hey, hey, Raul. Um, so, yeah, uh, the first thing that we need is obviously some Snowflake uh, images that we can use. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably something like Vecteezy or FreePeak is going to be fine. We probably want like a handful of different ones that we can pick and choose, like maybe five or six. Yeah. So, so what what's the idea? So right now we are uh, drawing a circle. So yeah. your plan is to replace the circle with a drawable. Yeah, essentially Ish. replace it with a drawable, uh, but also add rotation because like you don't see a circle a circle rotating. But if you start having the snowflakes, it would be nice if they rotated a bit, right? Mm. Nice. I know. I, I live in the. It, it would be nice if. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, how hard Woo! can it be, right? <clears throat> Last famous words. Thank you for the other sub. Wait, didn't you sub a minute ago? <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently he's the only one that is actually has two subscriptions to the channel. I mean, this is some some sort of commitment. I love it. Yeah, we need someone else to uh, to sub quickly so we get a hype train. <laughs> I still don't understand what that is, what it gives you. I have I, no I, idea. I just know it, it sounds I, cool. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. And that's how I they get no you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's do the hype train. Yeah. And then and you're like, yeah, but what is a hype train? I don't know. Whoa. Uh, that was too much, but thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Giuseppe. Thank you. What? 
Yeah, I, that, that's that's what okay. happens when you trigger people. Yeah. So stop. Sorry, stop, not sorry. Stop. Thank you, everyone, for your generosity. <laughs> that's more than enough. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. Okay. So, so let. Uh, brief word of caution: When you get random shit from the internet, always, always, always check uh, the license. So, for example. <laughs> I mean, it's probably fine for an open source application. It's unlikely anyone is going to come to you and be like, you're using my things for free, for stuff that Money. is free, uh, but you have to pay me. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, but yeah. It, it still would be better if you follow the license. Um, I know, for example, FreePeak has some free stuff that you can use, uh, but you have to provide attribution somewhere. Um, I am not entirely sure how that would work in an application, but um, like I do when I do uh, talks, I do get uh, illustrations from uh, FreePick, for example. Um, mm -hmm. I've also seen recently, yeah, probably in the about screen, Maya. Uh, yeah, but I I agree with Maya. I I usually have an about screen. And I also do the attribution in the store description. You know, the Play Store description? Mark. Yes, I think oh. we checked the license. I, I am quite sure you explicitly told me that we have the permission to use the new theme music. I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but I think, I think you did. Um, you, you can trust him. You can yeah. trust him. Nah, it's never. a friendly troll. It's not a trustworthy troll. Yeah. Um, another thing that I would add to the snowflakes, if we have time, uh, is a shadow. That might be complicated. So we might have to fake it by having like two versions uh, of the snowflakes, uh, one of which is okay. a bitmap and is blurred. But I don't know. Uh, we don't know. You can trust me to troll at every opportunity. Yes. Yes. That's, Mark, that's we you, know. Mark. We know. <laughs> that's we are ready. Weird. Ready for that. Um, so um, I, I think Vectiz th is the same, by the way. Yeah, it looks okay. the same. So the, the um, about the, the the music that we have, right? The new theme is it available yes. to subscribers, right? Uh, they can like subscribers. They can go on our Discord, and there's the link to the music there. Okay. So yeah, so, as subscribe. a reminder, if you're a subscriber on Twitch you have access to our Discord. Uh, it should be automatic. If it doesn't work, let us know. Uh, but yeah, just go on Discord and search Code with Italians and you'll find our Discord. There isn't that much activity there yet because we opened it just before the, the Christmas holidays and the break, uh, but we have plans for it, so don't, don't miss it. Yeah. Uh, this The music thing is the first bit that we dropped there. Um, okay. I saw what you did there. First beat that we dropped there. Okay. Yeah. The music kind of. Yeah. Oh, Whatever. I did not get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, it's like how to give attribution, video print, merch web. Yeah. It's neither of these. So it's kind of like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, probably yeah, just probably put the, about... put the, the name and the link somewhere is fine. Like well, they I mean, want the a link, so source, we'll put so the link. Definitely, we can do the readme on GitHub, and that's that's good, yeah. I guess. Yeah, mm, uh, I keep think... an eye on the link. Uh, okay, so I think I like this one. There's like five, six, no six. I cannot count. There's six <laughs> snowflakes. They're slightly different. Uh, well, two are identical. Uh, so yeah, let's say I there's five. Fine. I was right the first time. Or actually, probably no. It's yeah. This is slightly thinner. Four. Yeah, but the first one and the yeah, the they're like variations. The like this is no, lighter. Kinda. This no. is bolder. Anyway. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There are like a, a number of a number of the of. But do we get them all of them, or is it just yes. yeah? We, we it's gonna be a vector draw. file. Okay. 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 A vector file or like six vectors file? Yeah, it's, uh, so you have a license information, whatever is fine. 
Uh, there's an EPS file that I am going to, uh, I need to extract somewhere. Okay, and I need to open a software that I can use to transform the EPS into a SVG. You can probably do it with some online thing. Oh, mm -hmm. hype train level two. I don't even know how many levels there are, but oh. I guess two is better that than is one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, software you can use. Like what I generally use to design stuff, uh, including the thumbnails uh, for our episodes and everything is uh, Affinity. I also have Illustrator, but I find Illustrator a bit too much. Uh, I like Affinity. that this is, this is like, fairly... Like free? No, it's not free, but it's pay once. And you can you find it a uh. few times a year for like 30 or 50 euros, I don't remember, which is very fair. Okay, so Affinity Designer by Seri. Yeah. This one? Yep. Okay, I'm going to just put the link in the description. Uh, so this is the software do that Sebastian is using. <laughs> I, Jesus Christ, Sebastian, <laughs> give me a break. I don't know. They, I, don't think that we, I don't think that we can make money suggesting tools to people. No, I don't think uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God. I'm terrible. Uh, yeah, I think it, Come on. I'm not sure if you if you can import this into Figma. Speaking of, um, we did uh. an episode on Figma on Wednesday. So if you've missed that, um, Chris actually explained to us how to use Figma. Really useful. Um, yeah, that, that was very good. But this is more of a illustration software. So it is easier, I guess, to do illustration stuff with this. I'm just going to group the things so it's easier to export. Group, group, and group. And then we go to the export persona. I think I need to hide this most likely, but that kind of sucks. No, okay. So I'll create artboards and move stuff to artboards. That's probably better. Okay, so I would have this. Uh, let me put the artboard background so I can see what I'm doing. It's just a random color. There's no particular reason for that, except that it was there and easy to reach. And then I would have this and then I would center this in the artboard. How is this centered? I don't know, but it, it thinks it is. Uh, probably is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then I'll do the same thing for the other ones. So the reason I'm doing this is that we want to export every single snowflake as uh, its own snowflake. Uh, and to be able to do that, this is the easiest way. Like there are other ways you can do it. It can be, um, it can be uh, more complicated though. So I'm going for the easy way because we don't have the whole day. Uh, but also, this is fine. I I want to center it, though. Center. I say center. Ah. Okay. And, well, let's do this one. Like, how would you export this? You select it. You click export. And then you go to new folder. There's an even there, which is even looking. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, that's it's for the shit. thing. I, it's it's your face. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, wow, it still is creepy. I mean, don't show those two kids. I mean, it's like the boogeyman. Yeah, so I I forgot that I need to change this to SVG because then I can import the SVGs into Android Studio. So I can do digital small size, uh, rasterize nothing, file format, no, SVG, I said. SVG, rasterize nothing. There's no need to downsample anything. Uh, sure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. So snowflakes, zero. 
Okay. Uh, did I export both of them or just one? No, just one. Okay. And I'm going to export the second one. We can start with two. I'll add the other ones myself. Yeah, I agree. It was just to explain how to do that because yeah, sometimes I appreciate. you have no idea. So what you do is then you go in the resources and in the drawables and you do new, uh, never remember, vector asset. There you go, local file. And you pick uh, temp. It's not in Kulo. It's in Snowflake. Snowflake 01. Ah, it mm. has the background. Well, it has the background, but it's not a problem. We'll fix it. It's okay. Uh, also, this size is very, very big. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it much, much smaller. And probably like by 10 times. So 39 by 44. And I think that should be all right. I see Snowflake 01. I'm just going to call it Snowflake 01. Uh, <laughs> you know, I find it funny that there is auto mirroring. Snowflakes are symmetrical, <laughs> but I could turn hey. it on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. Why right to left is actually accessibility hashtag accessibility. Well, it's more internationalization than accessibility. I managed to say yeah, fair it right. Enough. I'm impressed by myself. Um, okay, okay, okay. And the other one was 39, so I guess this is 40. Yes, add that. Thank you. So we have a couple. I think it's OK for now. And so now we have so there's a cunning plan. By using designer first is delaying touching any code. <laughs> Breaking everything will happen much later in the stream than usual. I mean, it's, it could uh, have crashed on me, but I think that's more yeah. even sting. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, but he, I agree, he's buying time. He's yeah. just buying time. So, as you can see, we imported the SVGs, but uh, there's a problem. They have a background, and we don't Jeez. want gray rectangle to fall down, correct? Uh -huh. I'll help you correct. So, uh, yeah. so, so there's, we're a, lucky. there's a fill color. There's uh -huh. a, we're lucky because this is clearly the background. I say clearly. Why do I say clearly? <laughs> I mean, the oh. first clue is the color because everything else is white. <laughs> so obviously that's going to be a, the one. Such a genius. Such that's a genius. The galaxy brain kind of reasoning. Uh, but also, yeah. if you look at the paths for everything else, they're long, which means they're complicated. The longer the path is, the more points it has. And this is a, a rectangle. It, it will have four points. Uh, on top of that, you actually have like, there's a move command. So it moves to 0 0.12, 0. And then there's height, I think, whatever. I think this is a rectangle in SVG path commands. Probably. I'm not sure. I think. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you remove the background from an SVG. It's easy. If it's an Smooth. easy, yeah, but uh, we have the same thing here. We can actually reformat this and reformat this. Great. Now our snowflakes look flaky, snowflakey. Flaky sounds bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I also I also use mark technique. Mark's technique. I just change a color or something, and I, I see what. That's a very good point. Red. Yeah, usually like, I, I use red. How do you figure out what is this? Yeah, you just do this and like, oh, it's red. that. Oh, That's a very fancy. good point. Very good point. Are they unique yes, and Hugo. beautiful? Uh, Hugo, uh, um, they are beautiful. Please don't. They are unique then... uh, between themselves. But we aren't at the point where we are generating snowflakes on the fly yet. Yeah. And I want to I underscore mean, yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> it's just going to be... We are, we are waiting for uh, Roma, Roman to to actually tell us how to use filament for this. Yeah. And then yeah. we're going to be ray tracing. Pretty much. And it's, 
it's gonna be also ray tracing for the snowflakes. Yeah, it's gonna be like a two minutes of battery left kind of thing. Uh, so we have the snowflakes here. Oh, I think we also need to uh, force the effect on because I seem to remember that it had, yeah, so there is a view model, blah, 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 blah. And this is uh, enable, uh, which I think is true by default and the wintry thing, thing, thing. So I guess for now, we can just comment this one out and say, for now, this is fine, but okay. Why don't I have stop shit? Eh, whatever. Why doesn't it Maybe there is a... highlight? that uh to do yeah it doesn't have it okay maybe android studio is too old uh no it's a fairly old thing but anyway it's fine it's fine bold red or stripe mark red very red thank you okay okay ta-da doesn't change Does it? anything. Ah, it, yeah, needs it, to be a, it needs to be a reg X, I think. Okay. Ah, it's a pattern. Okay, I see. Yeah. So it needs to be this. Okay. Apply. And let's see if it picks it up. Still does not. Try, this is try annoying. To, I don't try understand Try to type why. it again. Let me do this. Ah, that's the oh, problem. Here you go. It's first try. Yes. Well, uh, I want white space first. Okay. Okay. And now I can have white space. Yes. Hey, first try. Ciao. I'm Sebastiano. I know re regular expressions. <laughs> All right. It's, it's not, not my thing. Yes. What's the mark marks and something? I said, really. can you use? Oh fractals. my god, fractals! Oh Jesus! Yeah, okay, let's so let's simple, say right? if if we finish early with the vectors, we can try the fractals. But I yeah. one thing at a time, I would say. Okay, let's try, let's do the drawable. Yeah, let's, let's do, do the drawable the first. Drawable. So I want to do the fractal. So let's do the drawable very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, you're you're optimistic. Uh -huh. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, so what we need is first um, the, the drawable thing. So we need a private enum class uh, snowflake drawable. And we have, oh, people use points to name the, the snowflakes, please. I'm going to call them first and second, but you can do better than this. Yeah. I also want to reiterate. Uh, we asked we asked our users uh, what's their favorite uh, live template. And we got a couple of interesting ones, especially the one with the um, modifier, modif uh, one, uh, I guess. I think Stylianos has it. And I have something similar in Compose because I'm constantly typing modifier equals modifier, whatever. Uh, so you know that the, the auto completion, if you are, if you do modifier equals or you're in the slot where a modifier would go, the auto completion ignores the modifier dot. You just do whatever is after the dot. So you don't need to write modifier equals modifiers dot modifier dot. You just do whatever comes after the dot, and it feels fills in that for you. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. I need to try. Uh, that doesn't work with Compose Multiplatform yet, I think. Okay. Well, I mean, but... also, also, Josep is, is a bit skeptical, so you need to show us if, if it works freely or you're just making it up. I mean, I've seen it happen. I don't know if it... So we have a Bert and an Olaf. Okay. I love it. 
I love it so much. I mean, it makes sense, right? Um, it yes. makes sense. <laughs> oh, and the whole thing was named Rudolph, so that was also sounding. Yep. Yeah, the, the whole thing is called Rudolph, right? Okay, good. We have Bert and Olaf. Eh, Pandoro, <laughs> Pandoro. Too late. Too late. But ah, that's a commit, commit message. message. Okay. A commit message. So but should I write it go. like that or should I write it right? <laughs> I don't know, no, no, it has to be like that. Like fine, suggested, fine, right? fine. No, because he's trying to explore, uh, exploit the some SQL injection with the uh, with the apostrophe. <laughs> Let's see if Kit has uh, SQLite injection, SQL injection yeah. vulnerabilities. <laughs> so I'm gonna create a small table. function here uh, that is like pick. And it's gonna do body. Oh, of course, dot. of course, Bert. Bert is short for. Engelbert. Oh yeah, our, our old friend Engelbert. <laughs> okay. Um. So what I want to do is I want to do values. Uh. I want to get the size. I want to multiply it for ma. Uh, I never remember the imports for the Kotlin one, so what I generally do is... Oh, it's just random, maybe, I think. Random, random. yeah. Random dot next int until values dot size. And this would be snowflake trouble dot values. And then you get this one, the nth. Um, yeah, hi, okay, okay, so this picks a random one, I guess. I, I need to check if until is inclusive because I'm not sure. Uh, less than, um. yeah, that's fine, okay, so it's gonna be zero or one. Uh, I have to have a comment here. Short for angle, but it's important. Yeah, I I understand you, Giuseppe. I I've gotten like I used to not, and then I spent so much time debugging my shit that I was like, yeah, better check every time. <laughs> yeah, you should you should write tests. <laughs> for a snowfall I, I like modifier. The... Shuffle, shuffle dot first. What's shuffle? Uh, the Harlem what shuffle. Wait, where is shuffle? Where is it? Uh, my is suggesting. Where do you use shuffle? Oh hmm. yeah, I could also do that. Um, I just wanted to avoid shuffling an array every time. It's like it's a minor uh, okay. thing. Um, yeah, I was going. Huh. Yes, I was going for the random, random one. Random, but I think random, random like shuffle. I don't remember. Does it? Can you do values dot random? Oh yeah, it works. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. Thank what, you. Kenny. What does it do? Just because it's an extension, can you check this? So I just want to. See. I think it does what I what I was doing. Yeah, you wish. But now there is some. Okay. It does what I was doing. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, see, oh, you you are also validated. Your your my code is, is as good as the, as the standard libraries. That's wow, a new. That's, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> that's actually that's impressive. I mean, I know I know that Mark is gonna just give you some like very 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 sharp joke about it, but I uh, I am very impressed, Sebastian. I just smashed some Legos on the ground. Whoops. I forgot that I had okay. Legos here. <laughs> but now they were behind the microphone. I didn't see them. You know, you know what's gonna happen? Then you are gonna forget about them and walk barefoot. Oh yeah, absolutely. Them, and it's gonna be very painful. 
Yeah, yeah, Kerry. They were using a global random instead of creating a new one, new one every time. Yeah. Nice. I mean, Mark, as long as I break shit, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so uh, we are picking a random snowflake and we're assigning it. The radius thing we're probably going to rename to size because mm -hmm. then now this is the size. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Android Studio. Ciao. Ciao, An attempt DJ. was made. You know the the, yeah. the subreddit, uh, an attempt was made where people post pictures of things that were half done and then be like, yeah, good yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like uh, A for effort. Yeah. Um... Okay, so now we need to paint that. So how do we paint this? I forgot everything. Uh, ba, 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 draw. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah, they draw themselves, right? So what this does is it draws the fucker here. It draws circle. What we need to do is we don't need to draw circle, but we need to yeah. draw image. Um, I think an important thing we'll have to do is we're gonna have to make. There's a vector. Draw vector. No. 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 No, I, okay, I, I can't could do draw path or draw vertices. Mm. I think I can kind of create one from, I don't know how, but it's not, it doesn't matter. I think what we should do instead is we should transform, like when go we create draw, this, draw, we need to create it. Yeah, bitmap. we need to create the bitmap. Uh, at the I, same I time, we don't we want to do it. Path. From the SVG, I uh, well, from the vector drawable, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I am not entirely sure. So, what this wants, it wants a paint and it wants an image. Uh, no, like image. So we probably don't want to pass in the snowflakes, the snowflake drawable, but rather when we create the, the snowflakes, we want to render the vectors to a bitmap and then use that and just cache it uh, at the higher level. So we don't have to create like a gazillion of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we need to pass the offset, which was our position. Uh, so here the top left offset would be position done. Uh, and I guess we have um, to do draw shadow here. And we also need to do, uh, we need a rotation value, but we'll get to that later. So let's first yeah, draw let's them. Incrementally, there is also something that Cat is suggesting, but I don't know if it fits what we want to do. But how to draw a drawable? Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to do this because, um, the the draw image function has uh, offset, so I think it does the offsetting by itself, like I, I would expect it. But it says with the top left corner at the given offset, so I think it's fine. And then it uses the paint. Okay, so let's get to that. Yes. Okay. So what we need to create is in the snowflow, uh, snowfall state, we need a cache for the snowflake representation. So the snowflake bitmap. So let's say private val uh, snowflake bitmap cache. Uh, I mean, can we use a memory cache from coil? Maybe. Uh, I can also do a uh, LRU cache, or I can just say, hey, nobody's going to reclaim this. 
it's fine. <clears throat> the idea was to let the drawer will draw itself. Yes, but the reason I'm doing the bitmap thing is that I also want to draw the shadow. And to do the shadow, I need to blur it. And I cannot blur a vector. So I, as I am transforming in, uh, well, is, as I need to make a bitmap, I can also do it for for that. I mean, I can I can do the bitmap for the shadow and the vector for the um, uh, for the vector itself, but for the snowflake itself. Um, the thing is, the thing is, I am not entirely sure this is a normal canvas, right? So what I, if I do? Oh, uh, no, I cannot, like, I need to get the actual drawable. The actual drawable. Yes, so this one, I'm going to comment that one out for a second. I need, uh, do I have a context or something? I do not. I need a context here. Or I, even better, I think, would be to have a lambda. Uh, snowflake drawable provider. And this takes a uh, drawable res uh, int and returns a uh, drawable. Uh, uh, I still not like it. Okay, fine. I tried. So you do that, and then what you can do here is uh, you call what the fuck was it called? Snowflake Drawable Provider. Okay, what is, oh, oh, I'm stupid, wrong place. Yes. Okay, so we have uh, a way to load the snowflakes now, and this is obviously dot ID, perfect. And we call this thing somewhere here, yes. Ugh. Separate lines and this one's resize. So we need a context on the snowfall uh, state or uh, resources. That should be enough. Okay. Because then here we can do resources dot get drawable. And we have it and uh, yeah, we don't really have theme. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, I need a context. Context and I need a, this one. So it's context dot get rubble. Uh, Yes, I need this drawable to be a real drawable. Uh, fine. I have compat resources. Dog get drawable. Context it. Does it? Yep, it wants it. Okay, fine. So. Now we have loaded the drawable, we have the drawable here, and we can do... Uh, so what Kerry was suggesting would be to do um, canvas dot... Uh, how do you do... Can you... Is there a... With save. There you go. With save. 
So what with save does is it saves the state of the canvas, executes the lambda, the lambda and restores the state of the lambda. So if you do any transformations here, like rotation, like scale, stuff like that, it will roll back everything for you. So you don't have to manually do that, uh, which is good because otherwise the rest of the code assumes that there are no active transformations and everything will look weird and or wrong. So the draw image in this case, we want to do it in here because we're going to have to translate the canvas. So what the Stack Overflow thing was saying is instead of like a vector drawable compat um, loads the, the vector drawable and then you do set bounds and you draw it on the canvas, but it goes this one, um, it, it always paints it at zero zero. So what you can do is you set the bounds on the on the drawable, then you translate it, and then you tell the, the drawable to paint itself. So um, what we need to do is canvas dot translate. So this effectively says move the canvas uh, this much position dot y. Uh, this is probably, we're probably going to have to Do change this. Some sort. When we add the rotation, we're going to have to consider Do that something. the rotation happens around the, the center, but mm. for now it's fine. Uh, then we do, instead of doing draw image, what we can do is we do uh, drawable dot uh, draw canvas. Okay. Why don't you like it? Oh, because it's a, yeah, so it won't work uh, because it's a composed canvas and it's not uh, the one that Robles would like. I think you can transform that, but I don't know how to do that. Um, so let me see if I create, okay, well, it's easy enough. I can just do this. The annoying thing is that I need to do it every time. Yes. No, I cannot do that. Canvas with say, with save layer, rotate, scale, canvas. Yeah, it's an interface. How the fuck do I create one from a non-composed canvas? I do not like know. Like an Android? Like, do you mean like an interoperability kind of thing? Yeah, because this is a, um, so this canvas here, is a uh, compose.ui.graphics canvas. Okay. Uh, Drawable wants an android.graphics.canvas. Okay. And the and two are related, a... but they're not the same thing. And I don't know There's how no you comp... create uh, the, the compose one from uh, like an Android canvas. I think there's like, let's see, Android canvas. But it's an internal class. Native canvas. Can I do native canvas? But I don't think this works. Because this returns a native canvas. Oh, okay. It's the same as the Android one. Okay. It's a, it's so that would list. work. So I can do canvas.native canvas. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, here you go. Okay. This works. Okay. Smooth. Fine. Nice. We learned something. Yeah. Well. APIs, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one needs the uh, context. Uh, what does this want? All right. This uh, is not in a composable, so I need to extract it. Context, okay. Okay, yeah, they're used. Uh, you sh should be used. Uh, yeah, because this one doesn't use it. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see how this runs for now. Let's see what happens with just this. Mm -hmm. So we already have the random, so they shouldn't be all the same one, right? 
Yeah. The only thing is and they are uh, going to be hard to tell because they're going to be white on white. Uh, okay. I think I uh, pa kernel panic the emulator. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's 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 the beginning, right? Yeah. It's beginning to look like Sam is coding. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> uh, Gradle, do you think maybe by the end of the day? Uh, Don't stress the guy. Will the date be outside the date range you set for Snowfall? Do you need to tweak that? I've already commented that checkout. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let me... Well, I just wanted to clear up data. Wait, what is this? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Clear storage. Okay. I think it's going to be slightly more visible on the onboarding because of the color. Uh, it is not visible because maybe because the, the um, pa -pa 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 enabled might be false. So. This one. Oh, this is a proto buffer. This is going to be super annoying. But it should be true by default, isn't it? Data store preferences. So default, 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 wintry Easter egg enabled. True. Yeah, it should be enabled. Well, well. But collect this initial state false. Yeah, but it should update immediately yeah. to the right value. Anyway, it doesn't matter. For, yeah, for, for now the it's moment fine. you can force it. It's okay. Probably. Boom. No. I was hoping. There you go. Ah. Doesn't show shit. That's good. But where should? Okay, but can you? So are we sure that the size uh, is correct? I mean, it's a, it's at least one. Big... I don't know how. We haven't the actually size set the thing. size because we have yeah. done the oh the drawable is gonna draw itself thing. So we haven't scaled it yet. Okay. Um, so. I don't know. Breakpoints. I'm just thinking. Oh, maybe I know what's the problem. I don't think we have set the size of the drawball. Uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think this one, this one, where yeah, the there fuck is was a set that bound? Provider? Yeah, I need to do that. I don't think I've done that. Yep. Uh, the apply uh, set bounds zero zero with height according to Katie. Intrinsic with intrinsic height. Yeah, that probably was needed, and by probably I mean definitely. <clears throat> But will it be enough? Yes, it is enough. Oh, look at that. It's beginning to look like Christmas. Yeah, that's a very dense Christmas. Hey, it's, the problem is the, the snowflakes are huge. Yeah. Uh, because but this we works, actually. Yeah, it's it works. not even It's not even bad. I mean, it's a bit glitchy on my side. I think it's the stream. Uh, what do you mean glitchy? Oh, it looks okay for me. Ah, oh, okay, perfect then. 
yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some stuff that we're doing, like the optimizations when things get out of the screen, all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, the, the fact that they appear at the top here, that's all shit we need to fix. But okay. the basic stuff is there. Now, what we need to do, next step would be to comment. set the size. No, we need to set the size of the things. Okay. Now, the drawable is drawing itself, so we don't really have that. But what we can do is we can do canvas dot. Yeah. I was thinking, do, does it? No, it doesn't. OK, uh, canvas dot uh, scale. Uh huh. Is this the right thing? Probably not. But the point is, <laughs> no, I just I'm just thinking if I need to use the one with the pivot or not. If it looks very fucked no once we run it again, we need to use the other one. That's how it works for me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I can think about it or I can run it and see if it's really yeah. fucked up. Um, it's the faster. Yeah. What's the fastest one? So we have the size here, um, which let's assume this is the uh, the yeah, height sure. because they have different width. Some are wider, some are narrower. Let's just say this is the okay. height. Okay. So uh, we have. Just, can, you, the, can we call it height out of instead of size? Just not the. Okay. It's in snake Whatever. case for just for you even. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is gonna this confuse is me so much. <laughs> yeah, because now I mean you just say oh it's gonna be the height, and now you name it not the height. Yeah, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, uh, so okay, Mark is suggesting you could scale when you set the bounds. The size that does, doesn't change. Uh, the what now? No, but the thing is, I want to set the bounds for the drawable itself to be the natural bounds of the of the snowflake, but every of the drawable. But every time I draw it, it will draw it will be drawn at a different size depending on the snowflake that's using it. So I think I need to do it with the canvas scale instead. Um, I think, yeah, I'm gonna call this height. Um, Thank you. I appreciate. Welcome. Obviously, not everyone likes the the change of name, but so theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, the image should be smaller now. Yeah, look at that. Very small. Uh, our okay. Yeah, they, they look Size. like dots now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, we've uh, we've gone back to the original state. <laughs> yeah, but now we are not drawing it, so we are loading it as a drawable. Nice. So we have a size range, uh, which is, yeah, we need to do, like, change this one. Uh, and this is a bit annoying because theoretically we should have, like, we should pass tips here because this is the, um, depends on the density. Uh, yeah. But I guess this could be like a we can treat it as an density independent thing and then we can scale it somewhere here. So when we do this um, here, does it have the density? No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't think the native does have density. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Uh, yeah, but this is an int. What the fuck? Uh? <laughs> no, but that's not the display yeah, density. No. This yeah, is like no. some bitmap density or some sort. Yeah, the problem is this is not a composable, so I need to pass in the density as well. Yay. Can you get it from uh, context? I have, don't have the context yeah. here, and I would like not to have the context on the snowflake. To yeah, be fair. yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, so I can inject it. Yeah, I can get it okay. from the context. Um, yeah, there is display metrics or something. How yeah. it's called? I never remember. Yeah, if I you, can do. It's in every. It's in every code base. Every time I search for it on Stack Overflow. Yeah. Uh. uh 
Oh yeah, I don't have that. I need that to get that passed in as well. Oh, there is density. Oh no, that's the. Yeah, this is should this should be display density, and this should be no density. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so let's say this is uh display density, and it is a float. Okay, display density is display density, and then we add here private val display density, which is a float. Okay, <laughs> I you like the it? suggestion that Mark is uh, yeah is pointing out. <laughs> Leaky McLeak face, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so what the what? Why doesn't it let me add things? Oh, I think <sighs> so annoying. Context dot this. Play dance it. No, he <laughs> tried. Uh, yeah, trying so hard. The as uh, display matrix, but oh, display matrix. Yeah, I never remember how you get it. No, I think it's from the context and oh, resources. Right, here you go. Yeah, resources. Yeah. And Whoa. density, yes. Okay. First try. First try, yes. <laughs> Got a few names there. Yeah. It's way. Yeah. <laughs> At least everything has a name. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not even a bit suspicious the fact that it's like fifteen parameters as a constructor. Everything is fine. It's not a constructor. There's nothing though. to see. What was it? Like a function or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> It was a function that needs a bunch of things. Uh huh. Uh huh. I. There's nothing I am to see not, here. Don't try this at all. I don't have a religious conviction that you must have at most three parameters in a function, like some no, people no, no, seem no, to no. have. I'm, I'm kidding. No, I mean, no I need much, shit. I take probably, shit. <laughs> probably ten. Ten is a bit. Is a bit too much. Yeah, but. If the, it the makes thing sense. Is, so, yes. But in this case, this is graphics code. You should remember yeah. in graphics code, the rules are different. You're going for performance. You're not going for cleanliness. And mm -hmm. creating objects every time you call a function is not good for graphics. So you yeah, should right. instead go with uh, like trying to reduce allocations, which kind of ties back to the, um, the same thing that um, Kerry pointed out earlier, where the uh, random, you don't create it every time, like the the system mm -hmm. code doesn't create it every time; it just reuses a local, uh, yeah, local one, a global, a global one, yes. Which we are also doing here. So, it's a, in keeping with that, um, and this is display density. Okay, hopefully, uh, let's see how that goes. I want to see like how much that changes. In and by itself, and then we can tweak the mm -hmm. the range. If I were doing this seriously, oh yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, works for me. Yeah, but they're still a bit they were a bit tiny. They are. Too, I don't know. I like them tiny. I mean, there is there is there are a few of them. They are clearly looking like snowflakes, but most of them it's. At least for me here, they look like white dots. So one or the one to one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now it's better. Yeah, that's fine. like yeah, there are some very small ones, but they're clearly still like not solid dots. Okay. But at the same yeah, time, yeah, if it, yeah. like I think it's fine. Yeah. Well, we it still looks have... fine on your phone. Looks looks good. It, it we still have the problem of pop in, so we need to fix that. Um, well, do they? Yeah, they do. Some some pop in. Okay. 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we need to fix okay, that. So but... they, they pop in because of the position where you start uh, drawing them. Because when we put them to minus height, the height here is not scaled by the display density. Ah, okay, okay. So technically, we could even say, yeah, we don't need the display density here. We just have the, the, the height, which is pre-multiplied. It's probably the, the thing that makes most sense. Uh, <laughs> let, let's actually do that. <laughs> Who's trolling me on the mm. chat? <laughs> no, it's, it's Kat is suggesting, you know, we, we definitely need to A-B test the size of the snowflakes. Yes. And uh, what do we compare against? Conversions? The, yeah, the, the conversion to enable crash reporting. <laughs> it's how, how many, many people, people <laughs> how many in the big group, you know, they have a big snowflake and also turn the, uh, the crash lytics on. Uh, so that's okay. We are a we are a data driven uh, project. Yeah. So we have fixed the pop in because the okay. height now is pre multiplied. So the code that we had now works fine. Nice. There is one thing. Nice. So there still is the possibility of a side pop in, or actually a side pop side out, pop because yeah, there is the out. same okay. thing when they go out on the side, mm -hmm. we move them back to the top, but. Because we have chosen the height instead of the width, the height is always equal or greater than the width for our snowflakes. So it's always mm -hmm. fine. Like the, the, the worst case scenario is a snowflake goes a couple of pixels more out to the screen, out of the screen before we reset it, which it's fine. Nobody's going to notice. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I don't see any weird stuff. Yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. It's great. Yeah. Calls for a comment. Yeah, Pandoro. <laughs> uh, looks good. Uh, what looks good. Changed it's here? a it's a it's a community community driven project. Yeah. Today we're taking uh, user requests. A lot of input. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we are doing it with two yeah. Uh, snowflakes or one? No, because we have two. the random one, right? There's so two, we yeah. Have two. It okay. will look better if we add just maybe even just another one. Uh huh. Well, I, I mean, also want to add the shadow though. But okay, let's try to understand the shadow. How would you do the shadow? I would. I would like to make it rotate as well. I don't know if that is something we should do first. But it doesn't really change much. Which let's one do you prefer? Rotate it. Uh, okay. No, let's do, let's do the rotation. Okay, so rotation uh, there is will a paint that we don't use anymore there, just the... for the sake of cleaning up. At the top, there is uh, like a paint. He, we will need it for the shadow, I think. Uh, ah, that's okay. the reason I haven't really removed it yet. Okay. Uh, I think we can remove it later, though, if uh, if that's not true. Mm. Um, no rush. I was just wondering. Yeah, no, no, it's a good point. So the way this works is there's a position, there's an angle, and there's a paint color. Now, the angle is not the rotation angle. It is a state that is used for uh, updating the offset because that the angle goes into the delta x and the delta y. Um, what we want to do, like the angle is incremented uh, randomly. What we want to do is we want to have them uh, rotate. No, they don't all move at the same speed, Kerry. There is a... Or maybe they do. I don't remember. Do they? Position... No, they do not. They do not. So there is a base increment, but every uh, snowflake has a factor. So they're all different. Because they're all unique and beautiful. Yes. Especially that. OK, so what we need to do is we need to have a rotation. And we need to have a rotation speed. OK, the rotation speed is 
let's say it's never going to change, like a single snowflake will keep always the same speed of rotation. So we can have private val rotation speed. And this is a float. I don't know the unit for this yet, so we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm going to rename this from angle to uh, movement angle or In horizontal movement. Yeah, it's the vertical one as well. It's the okay, is used so for the positions as like degree of movement. Uh, uh, Naming is art. Cool. Yeah, I know. I know. Ooh. And then we figure it out. Yeah, I'm gonna call this uh, uh, chronometry, <laughs> and I'll have it to do uh, find a better aim. I'm sure someone will come up with a better name. Uh, this is a bad one, but uh, at least it's used in a sinus and cosinus, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, okay, and we need to have a different angle, which we're going to call rotation angle. And uh, this starts, okay, yeah, they all start at the random one. I think it's better. Uh, and then we need to do the same thing here. So uh, if you might remember, the reason why the these ones aren't... Uh, saved as state, well, that they aren't uh, private valves, is that these ones are animated and we need to, to let Compose know that they have changed. So in order to do that, we get the, the initial value in the constructor, but the, we don't save it as a, as a property. Instead, we create a private var that is a state, so Compose knows when that stuff changes. Okay, so we have now a rotation angle, and uh, the rotation angle needs to be updated here, and it's going to be rotation angle plus equal well, plus equals uh, rotation speed, because this is like rotation delta per tick, really, uh, per animation tick. Uh, that should be fine. I think, yeah, uh, full angle, yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's call it full angle. And this one as well. Rotation angle, three. full angle, okay. Uh, I think rotation angle like this is fine and then what we need to do here in the canvas when we translate the canvas we scale the canvas before we scale it yes before we scale it oh fuck this is where okay this is where the pivot is going to be important um because the oh we're scaling it on, yeah, okay, it's the same. So the the scale, I think, is applied as zero zero. Yeah, there's like a center, like the the zero zero, the origin of our coordinates is before this instruction is at zero zero. Then it's at x y. Then we scale so. The, the draw here, all these um, snowflakes you see are actually drawn at um, zero, zero. So at the, the origin, which after this instruction is actually position. Uh, but if we want to rotate, we don't want to rotate around this point. We want to rotate around the center of the snowflake 
So say we have this snowflake and assume that this is the, the origin of zero, the canvas. Zero. So this is zero, zero. If you rotate around this, well, let's do it because yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Be, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be the, you know, when you look at a web page that has a loading thing that is wonky and it was like, instead of doing circles, like, ooh, 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 that's what happens. <laughs> but I want to see it. It's fun. Um, uh, rotate. So, yeah, when you do rotate, this is in degrees or in radians uh what have we worked with radians i guess so far although i could also do degrees oh yeah one thing i have forgotten to do here is probably better to do rotation angle uh uh, no, that was fine, but we need to see if if it's bigger than uh, like one radian, then we want to bring it back to zero, so it loops. So if rotation angle is greater than math dot pi, uh, then rotation angle sorry two pi. Then rotation angle is zero f. Okay, so it just resets because otherwise over time it would grow, 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 grow. And if you leave it there for enough time, uh, it it's going to be. Huge. It's going to overflow. I don't think it's going to crash, but it will overflow, which is going to look weird. Uh, degrees. So let's say we take radians because we've done radians in the other place. Uh, and we have our rotation angle. Da -da -da. Maybe call this rad and i think this the other one is rad as well because i think this one takes radian radians yeah so i'm gonna call this full angle rad that's rad bro rad, rad that's bro rad. uh okay and i want to put the pivot here uh the interesting thing is the width is going to be the draw well uh, it's easy we can just do it oh no we cannot do it uh, okay so i'm going to store this this is the scale factor and we need to take so the center uh of the rotation has to be the center of the snowflake but the center of the snowflake is hey hi there um, the center of a snowflake is the, you take the snowflake width. So we know that the factor on the height. So we, we know that the, um, the, the center of rotation is half the height, but the width can be different. So we need to take this, the same scale factor we use for the width and use it for the height and then divide the height. So it's scale factor uh, times uh, drawable dot intrinsic width. So this is the scaled width of the snowflake. And I need to divide it by two. And I need to do the same thing for the height. Let's see if I have fucked up the mats. I might have. Oh, there's a I'm red thing. I right. forgot. I forgot to set the angle stuff. Get it right at the first time, man. I mean, that would be impressive. No yeah, offense, it, but it doesn't compile yet. Incredibly so. impressive. So I'm gonna rename this as well. Uh, full angle radians seed. Uh, this is. Full angle radiance seed range. Yes. Full angle variance. Full angle divider. Okay, and I need the same for the 
uh, rotation angle. So this is not going to be full, but it's going to be rotation. There is a, a request for accessibility anyway. in the stream. Uh, sure, I'll do it in a second. Uh, given I need to define the ranges anyway, so it's fine. Uh, I need to do though. I'm just going to finish renaming things so I don't forget. Uh, the broken rename thing is quite annoying. Feels like coding in Xcode. Okay, yes. I need to add the two new ones. So rotation angle rad seed is rotation angle rad seed. And then I have rotation angle seed range. Okay. I need to rename this once as well. Uh, almost done. No. I'm going to copy this because it's easier. And last one. Okay. So now I need to go here and copy paste this one. Also, this one is snow density. Fuck what me. The I have fat fingers. That was the problem. Okay, and now this is not full anymore, but it is a uh, pop pop station angle. Seed rotation angle. Seed. I'm gonna change this to I don't know. Forty-five. I. It's fine. I think it's okay. Um. I don't need to go. Rotation angle. Oh, that was rad. Rad seed and rad. Sit angle. Okay. So now we have the initial values here, but we need to use them here. So I have rotation angle red seed. Was it the only one that was missing? Oh no, the speed as well, but we'll do that. Rotation angle red. But where the Full angle, full angle divider, rotation, speed rotation angle. I need to rename that. Okay. The random. Man, seriously. This will be a playlist at some point. I mean, you know, the the the, fu the funniest thing would be to do it like in August. And we're like, oh, I wish there was snow now. Nice. So a refreshing effect. Is yeah. Uh, okay, rotation angle rad. Okay, I think it's still missing uh, the speed. Um, rotation speed, yes. The rotation speed is going to be rotation angle uh, speed range. I'm going to rename that because I don't care. Uh, rotation angle speed range dot random. Okay, I am going to uh wait this is rotation speed rod per tick 
Close enough. <sighs> One day we'll understand yeah. why yeah. the inspection is broken. That day is not today. Okay, so this one is actually <laughs> regular day at work indeed. Um, yeah, I would say per tick, this can be from minus, uh, wait, radius, so minus 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. To 0 0.1 f like I, we don't want them to spin very fast uh, this is a relatively low but probably also very high i might need to add a zero before the one but let's see let's see if it let's works in the first place spin. yeah let's see if it works in the first place oh i forgot i need to make them bigger I have to make them bigger. They are, but they, they sort are, of they are, rotating. They yeah, are they're rotating on the on the zero zero. There. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what happens. <laughs> if you see a weird rotation like this, they're rotating around zero zero, which is not yeah. the center. Um, but the thing, the it funny would, thing is, I I I have put the pivot, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, other rotation of radius clockwise, the current transform at the given pivot point. The pivot coordinate remains unchanged, but the rotation transformation. Okay, there's still something broken. We'll we'll fix it, but I need to make the the thing is bigger. Thing is, you have to be bigger. So let's say we're gonna do uh, maybe ten, or let's maybe eight to fifteen. 815 because I don't want to make them huge because otherwise they they will cover each other uh, they seem the same size that's fine <laughs> it's not affected at all okay let's do 15 to 45 just to see if it actually changes anything it might not that's the funny part no it doesn't yeah, okay, so the size range, we're actually not using it anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. It was used here. Size range. Yeah, we are using it. That's weird. So... It's used to create the height. Well, we might as well rename this to height range. So height range range dot random times display density. I'm curious. What is this? Oh, I need to start it again because it doesn't recreate them. Make status and navigation bar transparent. Yes, but not today. Uh, it's just I don't want to deal with insets right now. <laughs> well, but we, we can use the accompanist library, so I, I it should be pretty still, straightforward. I, I still don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, we can, we can. Pull requests are welcome, please. So it's still 5 to 12. What the fuck? Why is it 5 what to 12? Is it? That's yeah, yeah, I mean, that's uh, Chris, sure. Chris Payne's driven development. Uh, this one. How is this the same as this? Uh, rebuild? Sounds like one of those cases, yeah. <laughs> I think the problem was like live edit got confused or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there is the, the inset system UI thingy thing thing. Um, 
yeah but i i would rather see it work first and then add complexity to it because i think we're gonna have time maybe to make the shadows but i'm not entirely sure the problem i the problem i can see coming up uh with uh the shadow thing is that the shadow thing is going to be a bit of a pain because we need to rasterize things to bitmaps and we need to consider the biggest size they can have and then scale them. Uh, yeah, Hugo, I think it is the live literals that are uh, breaking things. Yeah. I think also the ADB idea plugin is broken. Damn. That's a shame. You didn't install anything, did you? No. It clearly didn't. Let me try again. Using the power of hoping really hard. Nope. Let's restart Android Studio. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if it works now. Studio, behave. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Uh, even do you want to give away some stickers while we wait? Yeah, sure. So I'm going I'm going to just do the last call. So this is last call. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes more and then we are rolling it. So yeah, still not working. Okay. That's weird. noise. That's weird. More, so this is good. So I just want to remember, uh, remind you that uh, stickers come uh, for free. So there are no, sh we, we are covering the shipment. Uh, the, we, we are just using standard uh, mail. So don't expect a tracking number or like, uh, uh, Amazon kind of delivered by tomorrow kind of thing. So pretty straightforward. It's a letter and it's going to come in a, a few days, but it's going to come for free and it's full of stickers. Um, so if you have a subscriber, uh, you will get also the holo sticker. If you are any kind of supporter of the channel, uh, or you're just going to get the plain, uh, look at the Angry Pizza sticker. Plus, uh, we have a bunch of our other stickers. Uh, you can see there are Kotlin stickers, IntelliJ stickers, uh, Random Mandra stickers. So uh, we have a few of them and you will get them for free. Plus a couple of other uh, surprises that we uh, got this year later later last year um and um, also we got other stuff coming in uh last week so be patient and um it's gonna it's gonna be worth it so any anyway uh found the problem yeah, yeah, the book is coming the, the problem okay. was i was what stupid was uh the, okay. the thing is when we call okay. when Would you, you create care to elaborate yeah when we <laughs> create a snowfall state here uh mm -hmm. we have the the defaults here as well so i was i changed them down here but not here and we are passing these values down so i think the uh, best okay, okay. would probably be to remove the defaults from here the defaults yeah they will be probably less error prone yeah i mean this is gonna well, complain was... about missing shit that's fine yeah, but that was a good call. Nice catch. Um, okay, so we have a few people in the giveaway. And um, anybody else? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm going to call it 
Everybody ready to go? Boom, let's roll it. How do we join? Okay, so let's try again. We just need to type the word in the chat. Yeah, I mean, I was this close to rolling. Come on, now we have somebody else. Last on, minute call. Our, our, mix, our mixer, come on, join the giveaway. We just need to type Rudolph in the chat. Nothing fancy. It's a very, very, very straightforward. Here you go. So, okay. Three, two, one. Let's roll it. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Really? What? Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations, congratulations for the stickers! Woo! Uh, yeah. More stickers! More stickers! I'm gonna just ship all of them to you because then you're gonna start giving them away for, for us. Yeah, please uh, keep them forward. Congratulations uh, again. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's uh, no, it's I, I don't know, it's just uh, the random stuff. Um, yeah, that's 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 correct, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so the there is something off with the the bot because Giuseppe is basically winning all the time. I need to check. I need to just call the night bot support and see yeah. if they have or, like a white flag, like a, a white list or some sort. Uh, but jokes aside, um, congratulations! And uh, because you are like a Uber supporter. <laughs> Because you're subscribing all the things you're you're getting also the the very fancy uh, stickers that we that we we are keeping secret. So congratulations again! Oh, pretty, those pretty ones, sure those I... are those are really fancy. I still don't have yeah, one. Yeah, actually... Where, yeah, yeah, Please yeah, send me. Uh, no, there is already the, be the uh, one of the envelopes is for you, genius. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Uh, then it's fine. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I, 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 I'm dealing with this guy. Can you? Bigger can you snowflakes. Believe? Look at them go. They're like, wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, some they, they, they feel look like they are like attached to something and they're just swinging. Oh my god! It's like, like someone is spinning them around, be like, wee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Dorothy kind of shit. Oh god. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we so need to fix that. So how do we do the calculation? So how do we fix the uh, do the calculation for the 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 mil middle point because we have a height but I didn't get how we do the half so, width part. So the we know the size of the drobble like we've set the bounds of the drobble to be uh, the intrinsic width and the intrinsic height. So this is the unscaled size of the snowflake but we also have the scale factor right so the effective okay. width of the bitmap is the intrinsic one times the scale factor yes. and it's divided by two and the same thing goes okay. for the y like for the height is the same thing the, the only okay. thing i'm i'm kind of like Less. i'm not sure i'm not sure exactly where this yeah, is. Mark is, um, Mark is suggesting something. Yeah, I can also do that. So yeah, what I can do is I can, well, let me create a variable as like scaled uh, with and scaled height. Ah, cannot even. And obviously, I wrote it wrong. Okay. So, as Mark was suggesting, uh, we do this before. Yep. There. And we do the rotation around the center by doing the translation, like adding this. So we take the X and we take half of the height 
off and we take the app the y and we take alpha of the height off so this could work so th the idea is that then the zero zero becomes the center of the yeah. snowflake theoretically well, that's well, that's actually clever it's the same thing that this is doing under the hood but maths are hard this is worse yeah, tell me about this is worse yeah yeah okay uh and now i'm like okay no disable live edit just in case i don't understand why i need to open the preferences when that already says off but fine you can never be sure double double is off. there a way to center from the center of the snowflake i don't understand what you are asking but this yeah, to rotate. That's to that's rotate. what yeah, we that's want what to we're achieve. trying to do. Yeah, someone's giving the snowflakes <laughs> drugs. Yeah, yeah, but not the right ones. Clearly. Yeah. Um, so it 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 got worse. It's like they they are even. It's just love. Like this one is like wee wee. Yeah, but wee. yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. They they are they look like even far far air. Far, more far, uh, yeah. whatever. I was English. wrong. That should be plus, I think. Plus, yeah. I think. I don't know. I, mean, I, I'm at the point where I was just going to try and change the sign and see if it's better. No. no. I mean, it's slight, slightly better, but not really. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, so, so let's can you, try, can to we try to think about go it. Back to the, let's try to go back to your initial solution before Mark completely threw us uh, off-road with this fancy solution. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's fine. It has a rotate function. Okay. It, on, on the what? On what? Because <laughs> the canvas uh, rotate thing is what I'm using. Can rotate the canvas before drawing the item. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. As a built-in solution for such cases, rotate. You can rotate the canvas before drawing the item and then invert the rotation. Because composite is a built-in solution, yeah, rotate, rotate effect on the, on the elements, blah, 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 rect dot center. Yeah, I still need the rectangle though. I mean, I still need to translate stuff. Um, I can try that. I am not sure. Uh, oh, this is on a draw scope, though. We are not in a draw scope. I don't think we are in a draw scope. <laughs> Those things are crazy. <laughs> no, I, we're not in a draw scope, so we don't have that. We are. We just have a canvas. the The draw scope is a thing that has a canvas, but it's not a canvas. Uh, so no, that does not work, unfortunately. So, so where are we? So what if you run it? So what do we have? Is the one this, running? This is running. Moment? Yeah. The this, that's, okay. Looks the same. I'm kind of wondering. How much of this is the code hasn't changed and how much of this is weird shit. So what I'm going to do is I am going to paint a dot at the center. Row at the center of the image. Circle at the center, like where the, the origin, compass. where the origin is. So oh, as okay. offset dot zero uh two point zero F. Uh, and I don't have a paint because I have deleted it, but I can just put it back. Uh, yes, the compose one and color dot red. Red. And painting style. Yes. So I'm going to draw the paint. The, the circle is behind the. No, I want it in front. Okay, is and it let's running? 
Is it complaining about something? Uh, yeah, I haven't put the paint. That would have been useful. Yeah. Probably. But I like the fact that he closed the app just to make it not compile. Thank you. That was nice. Okay. Where's the, the red dot? Yeah, it's, you see, it's rotating around a very small dot. I can make it bigger, probably. I can make it like. Oh, yeah, that's the two F. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as if you see it, it's okay, but it's, it's very, yeah, very but tiny. Yeah, but I want I you to see it. Oh, yeah, here you go. A, you go. Now is actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because you also have a visual point of reference about the. Uh, yeah, the where they're rotating. The snow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's actually nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it fits like, you know, there is something hooked. But uh, so how do we? So right now we're just okay. doing rotate around the, the center. The center is there. If I take the rotate away, we can see where the center is compared to uh, each uh, snowflake very easily. And the point is, we can take out the rotation until we manage to center the the center, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. that makes sense. That's, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, agree. if we did what we were doing before, which was scaled with divided by two, which is what I would think is the right thing, divided by two. Let's do two f just in, just in case. If I do it like this, is it going to be right? It should be, but am I? <laughs> am I doing it right? Have I fucked up the maths just for a change? It, it looks move. like I have. It move. No, it is closer, but it's still nowhere near. No, where it but that should be. But can you? No, 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 no. Is it? Pixel DP, are we fucking up mm, the I think measurements? That's, I think this is wrong. So scale I think factor. the scale factor is wrong. And it is scaling stuff, but so what should he do? Scale factor. No, what it's correct, because this is the height we want to have, and this is the height that it has. So our scale factor is indeed this. Um... I think this may might be part of the problem. I think that might be part of the problem. Not entirely sure, but I think it might be. Okay, let's say we don't scale them. Let's yeah. say all of them are the same size, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's a bit that good. Okay. They're very big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, you... thank you for the follow. I can't see shit. Yeah, I think I need to. Yeah, but they still, they still don't move. Yeah, so I'm going to temporarily like decrease the density because otherwise there's way too many. Yeah. And it might be easier to pick up this way. It's like two orders of magnitude less. There should be a few. Very few. Okay, there is one. Okay. Well, oh, it's a few. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's Can okay. You, there's a few. There's a few. Uh, it's a couple. Yeah. Okay. So I think okay. this is more so, workable than it was before. Yeah. Okay. So. So. So now it doesn't first, scale. Yeah. The first thing we need to do is understand that. Okay. First thing, the this is drawn at zero, which is probably wrong. What do you mean? So this tells us where the zero is. We probably want to draw another one. So I'm going to do paint dot apply color equals the, the red color dot 
red. The red dot is something uh, for us to have a reference where the zero zero is. So that was the idea. So where is yep. the top left corner of the compass? So I'm going to do something terrible our... here, which is I'm going to create an offset every time that we animate, right. but it's just for debugs. So yeah. It's fine. So the, so the idea is that to have a correct rotation, we need to put the dot in the center of the snowflake. At that point, we can say, we can tell the snowflakes rotate uh, on on this point, and it's gonna be rotating like yeah, properly. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, now the blue is where the center of the scaled um, yeah. snowflake would be. Uh, now we have disabled the scaling, so obviously that isn't happening. But if we put it back, that should be where the center of the rotator snowflake is. This was supposed to be a five minute job. I said, what the fuck? Nobody ever oh, said no, that. Um, so scaling is, is, is affecting the size of the... Yeah, that's fine, but... Uh... Yeah, so the, the the still that's not nowhere near the center. So I'm going back to the yeah. fact that this is probably wrong. Can you print the those three values scaled with height and factor just to have an idea? Is it just gonna so do we have an idea how is it gonna be like a hundred? It's gonna be like five. Uh, how much off we are from the from the, the expected value, because what I have you... no idea what's the expected value. You know, these three values here, it's like, how, I don't know, is it, is it going to be 100, 200, 3, 5, minus 10? You know, I have no idea what the, the expected... So uh, the scale factor uh, should, considering that the, the, this this should always be between zero and one, theoretically. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Lines up. Okay. Because we have our well, between height, zero which and is, one. Yes. Okay. It uh, feels like it's always like about yeah, that's, zero point five, zero point two. That's because the height as we have created it is in a in a range. Okay. So it's a random thing within the range, and the range is da 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 da, da height range is this one, uh, is this one height range? There you go. It's between eight and seventeen, and I think uh, that's the height that we want. But and this is in pixels, by the way. Um, but the image size is bigger like the intrinsic size of the image is bigger than that in fact the okay. intrinsic size of that is the the one we have in the xml uh, which is for example like 44. 39 44. Mm. that's in dips so it's going to be scaled as well uh, yeah, I think we like I can put just for reference the um, intrinsic size as well where we are printing. So this would be uh drawable dot intrinsic width times times drawable dot intrinsic height. So now in the log Cat is suggesting that. use intrinsic width and height as offset. Uh, yeah, that's probably correct. So yeah, this is the intrinsic size of the drawable. Uh, mm -hmm. That's in pixels because it's 30 something dips. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the size we wanted to have. So this is the factor between, well, between this and this. 
okay. then this is just okay. scaled correspondingly like this yeah, that makes sense. times this gives you this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, so if uh, what Kerry was suggesting is to do after the scale call. I, I want to put the dot first so I can see. After the scale call, the whole coordinate system is probably scaled, so you shouldn't scale your offsets again. That is very confusing, but fine. Uh, I think it is a valid, very valid point. Uh, it might be that this, the, the whole canvas is scaled, including like you pass it too, but it gets scaled by whatever thing you gave it. Uh, intrinsic height. So if I do it like this, theoretically, the blue dot should be at the center of the snowflake. Yes, it is. It is. A hundred points to Kerry. Thank you, Kerry. Mamma mia, bravo, Kerry. Just send me a message with your address. I'm going to send you stickers. Yes. Okay, so now theoretically, theoretically, uh we can do the same thing on the translate right yeah so about that uh i'm gonna call this half width thank you thank you for the sub and i'm gonna call this uh scaled high uh, half scale half height half height i don't word anymore yeah uh, i mean it's uh seven in the evening yeah. So it's this divided by two. And it's this divided by two, maybe two F, two F. Uh, this is only used there. So I'm going to, oh, ah, they change shortcuts again. In line. Yes. But I don't think you have presentation assistant. I don't you think I do. No, do you? No, I, I, it went away. Yep. Don't ask why, I have no idea. Uh, uh no. You Where have hints as well? I have no idea. Okay, let me, I think you needed to load the plugin. I think this version of Android Studio is a bit Fucky. Uh, Is it? Well. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Now it's there. Okay. Do you uh, have Do you have type ins? I. I had them. Uh, inlay hints, Kotlin types. Nope. Yeah, you don't take have, them all out. Yeah, I. I had the same problem with the latest update. Everything went away. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Now if I, yeah, that's better. Definitely. I can make the text bigger though. It's a bit small. Uh, 28, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit better. That's mm, okay. Okay. So we can take the debug paint off. I think it's fine. Uh, I put back the rotation. It's probably going to be broken. Uh, Why? No, it's not going to be broken because we have done the translate already. So it should be fine. The only thing to consider is that we sh we could have some pop-in because we've done the translation thing. No, it's still broken. Ha! Okay, let me put the uh, things back. Also, there's not enough now. Let me let me do it with this, like a slightly bigger scale uh, density on the snowfall. Okay. So yeah, I think we need to put the um, the offset here. Half width. And half height. And I don't think we need this anymore. To be honest. 
I think that is fine. Yep. Works mm, fine now. Yep. Yeah. I like I like the fact that now the red dot is actually Whee! Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be though, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have the rotation stuff done. Um let Thank me... you, Katie again. Thank you again. Uh we need to tweak the the speed stuff because it's very, very fast. Mm -hmm. It's like 10 times slower at most. Maybe that's a bit too little. So let's do five and five. Yeah, I think that's better. Nice, I like it. Are they rotating? No, they are not rotating in the same direction. No, they're them, all right? some, some, some are rotating one way because the range of uh, like what we're changing is the speed. It goes from the red and the blue peel swap their effects. Yes. Um, we have a range of speed, and when we create the, the snowflake, we assign a speed to it that is always going to be the same. And it goes from minus 0.5, uh, sorry, 0 0.05 to plus 0 0.05. So it can go one way, or it can go the other way, or it can even be zero, like or very, very close to zero. Uh, I am going to... Press unused for uh, are you drunk? Yes, you are. Okay, so I'm gonna commit this. What is this? Misc, be sure you really want to commit that. Okay, yep. Can you save today? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, now it's like... How are these three related to what I'm... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I... I try, I try to understand this stuff. It's... I don't know. Does it work? No? Doesn't seem to pick up suppress at all. It is a thing, yes. Unused what? Save delete. It's unused. I don't understand why it's not. Maybe it's it's a lowercase u. Shouldn't matter. Really? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to guess because the suggestion was like. Yeah. Anyway. I am going to wait. It didn't commit. It didn't commit. It didn't commit. It didn't commit. Studio, what's going on? Sure, Kotlin plugin. I am going to restart. Studio because I think it's fucky right now. Only this version. So the first time that happens in my life. Can I commit now? Maybe. What happened? I don't understand. It is not committing. Checking. Did you broke git? <laughs> I don't uh, think I did. <laughs> oh, oh man, he's always he's always on point. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mark, for for. Uh, 
It's so good. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Okay, let me let me take these ones out. Can it do it without that? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we found the problem. It was like optimize import or whatever. Oh. What? Okay. Yep. Invalidate caches. I think the either studio or the Kotlin plugin have decided to be like nah. Nep. Nah. It's time time for for some dinner. Okay, it is indexing the planet as usual, but I think it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I might end up doing deep clean at some point, Mark. Ciao. Maybe. Um, yeah, I think we're like, we don't have time to do this. No, the, the shadow. shadow, cause this has gone on long enough. But I think it's yeah. Deep clean for well, for Stream Deck. I want the um, I want the but, video on Twitter, Giuseppe. But actually, <laughs> yeah. But Giuseppe, I I actually I'm very very interested. At some point, we need to uh, to catch up. How do you run commands on this thing? Because uh, did you write a plugin for something? I mean, because I I just use find you know the the predefined ones. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that I can I can do more with this thing, so yeah, I, I need to. You need to give me some link or something or some repository. What what is this thing doing, Sebastiano? Since uh, when? indexing. Okay. I didn't invalidate but caches. We, so. But we generally use shared index for this stuff, right? Is it? Do no? you? I think I download the indexes and things like that, you know, to save time. I don't no? think it was does it for the Android SDK. I'm also not oh, entirely okay. sure that this version of oh, nice. uh, IntelliJ platform has uh, shared indexes. I am not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do that's... not know. I'm... Oh, look, it fucked up everything. Now, come on, give it a moment. Thinking. Okay, uh, maybe we'll. So. Um, I'm using IntelliJ and um, I'm, I can't wait for having this stuff in IntelliJ, to be honest. And if you want to um, try IntelliJ idea, the Ultimate Edition, there is a 30 days trial, right? That you can, do, you can try it for 30 days for free before Raw. you decide if Probably. you want to buy it. You can also I use think, the so. EAP versions community that are version. free. So oh, a community EAP is free as well. Version. Yeah, the, the community version access, is free. The early yeah. There is the early access program that comes, uh, you can use it for free. It's a bit unstable because, you know, only the brave. Um, eh. But remember, if you are new to the stream, we are running uh, giveaways uh. for 100% discount code in, for IntelliJ Ultimate every week. Um, I'm pretty sure that this VOD on YouTube is going to be the VOD with the IntelliJ license uh, giveaway. So probably. keep an eye on, on the stream. We did a lot of stuff, so probably you will go back to the video to check what Sebastiano uh, did here. And um, yeah, ch good chances to win uh, a license as well. We extracted a couple of licenses last week, and we need to. And uh, the winners they reached out to us, so we need to uh, reach uh, back with codes. So you know, things things are happening. So if you want a, a license, please follow the 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 channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay up to up to date uh, with Twitter. And I will I will give you the word that you have to comment with under the video. What's going on? Magic numbers. Oh, so yeah, trying to make detect happy. Yeah, it. Uh, I ran it because uh, it's always a good idea in the sense that it reminded me that I had a stop ship thing that I had committed by mistake. So it's useful. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. Okay, this is good. I like the. I like the idea because we are doing yes, it's a snow effect, and probably you are not using you're not gonna use it 
all the time. But there, there is a lot of uh, mathematics that it can be applied to other problems. And for me, this is invaluable because I don't know shit about this. Although I knew a lot of stuff about this thing uh, 15 years ago <laughs> at the university. But then, okay, you get the exam and your brain just because you don't care out. because you, you don't, don't care. really don't care i mean so but it's it's good to know that it's uh it can be useful and you can do nice basic stuff with this um so just asking because you know it's gonna be it's more or less one mound, mound out um so are we gonna do falling hearts for Valentine's Day? Only Just if they rotate. Keep... Uh, okay. That's I mean, good. we can use I the mean... the heart emoji. Yeah, sure. Why not? That'd be uh, easy. Yeah, that would be that would be straightforward, I guess. But only oh. if you set your partner contact, and then we can do that when the partner writes you. Then it was like hearts. Um, but at the same time. No, that's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to do that. I'm, if you want Creepy. hearts, we can do hearts because that takes five minutes. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the the partner contact selection. Whatever. Nope. 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 Okay. Near. That's fine. What do we What do we have here? I mean, we're do we need up. to give away anything else? No, I don't nope. think. We're fine. Everybody won. Oh. Everybody won uh, everything that was uh, winnable. Okay. So I mean, basically, Giuseppe won everything as usual. Okay, so it's just the two of us again, I guess. Yeah. Um, yes. So let's wrap it up happen, then. Yeah. What's gonna happen on Wednesday, Sebastiano? On Wednesday, we have a good friend of mine uh, from Google. Uh, Vadim. Vadim is going to be helping us fixing the horrible splash screen mess that we have. Uh, if you remember, we have like a very weird thing where uh, we have to do um, like we have a fixed fake um, start destination for navigation because otherwise, otherwise navigation explodes. But we need to wait for IO. So we need to wait for um, data store to load uh, if the user has seen the onboarding or not. That's a pain in the ass. Uh, and as far as I can tell, nobody has published anything about how to make that work in Compose, but we have figured it out. So we're gonna explain how it works. It's all at, also at that point, it will have been a week since I've done it. So we'll have forgotten everything. Hopefully the team yes. will remember something. <laughs> but worst case scenario, I, I have the code. So I can like the, the code of the experiment and that that worked. Uh, spoiler alert, there's a lot of hacks involved <laughs> because there isn't an easy way to do that. But um, I guess the right people know that now. <laughs> and uh, on Sunday, I'm just pulling up the a spreadsheet because I don't remember on Sunday. Oh, yes, uh, we are uh, going to be having uh, Nick route from Google again. Um, and uh, well, not again in the sense that has been with us before, but in the sense that is also from Google. From Google. Yeah, uh, Nick is a developer advocate for the material design team. And we're going to be talking about material U. And I think especially about dynamic theming. If you have questions for either of them, let us know in advance. Uh, but also on the day, just join us, come on the chat live on Twitch, and we'll have an opportunity to talk about anything you are curious about. And I, I particularly know, Ivan, you will have plenty of questions for, uh, for Nick about dynamic theming. Um, I think he, uh, Nick also has some things that he wanted to talk about. Uh, we still haven't nailed the details yet. So, yeah, TBD. Still, still wrapping my my head around uh, the whole um, 
dynamic teaming thing. It, I mean, it could have a potential for indie developers, so I'm I'm interested. Cool. So I think that's it for today because it's two and a half hours. I think it's more than enough. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Yes. Uh, I just posted the link in the chat for the sake of uh, let's keep it in mind. Um, there is a, a tiny issue that you can actually contribute to the project if you want yeah. to to make the toolbar, the system bar, and the navigation bar transparent with the companies. You just open a, a pull request, and we will happily uh, review and and merge it. So you know, open source. And you know, you can you can brag about this that you contributed to Code with Italian. <laughs> you might uh, even get some so, stickers. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you everybody for the support. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of the day. See you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Ciao ciao. Ciao.